this is Maya broadcasting out the UK and today is going to be another shave video and today I have something special I might do something experimental as well so what is so special well this is one of my all-time favorite razors this is the Blackland Vector single edge and it's just a beauty it doesn't only shave well, it has a wonderful feel to it. It has a really sleek and elegant look. This is my, well, I might say from my, one of my absolute favorites. So that's the, I have in here the Kai blade, the Kai pink blade. And I will be using soap wise, I have the D.R. Harris Windsor. Um, this is a sample as you can see because I wasn't sure about the scent I have still the DR Harris Marlboro which I like so I thought I'd try out the sample of Windsor as well and I'll be putting that into my Sulbachi bowl so whilst I'm talking to you what I will do is I'll stick some in there when these shavings are rather large so let me find one that's not so large let me see okay I have to empty them all out into my hand you see these are the, the sample shavings right let me see I won't need such a large one I think oh, this is the smallest that's maybe too too little I think I will be going for you no know, half of this. Hang on a minute, I'll make my own. Let's see, let's break some of that off. Okay, I'll be going for this amount. Okay, here we go. I think that will be also too much in reality. Oh, this is a, has a lovely scent, and I know DR Harris is a great performer. So I'm not worried about the performance, sorry for all the crinkling, but I don't want to have all the lovely scents go out of the soap, so I'm sealing it up rather quickly. Um, I am awfully sorry for the crinkle noises. Maybe I should have done that prior to, but this is me. Nothing goes exactly the way it's supposed to professionally. Um, so I'm just adding a little bit of water to this just to smush it down. That's a technical term, you understand the smushing. Okay, let's smush that down. Okay, the smushing down of this works a lot better than it did in the other video. So there it is smushed down, it's stuck. That little bit of water is now just going to bloom that a little bit. That is fine with me. I'm going to be using my... <laughs> now I've forgotten again. Is it Arctic Lake? Arctic... Yes, Arctic Mountain Caravel um, brush. Because there's one called Arctic Mountain and one is Arctic Lake. So I think this is the Arctic Lake. <laughs> anyway, can you see how beautiful this brush is? I think this is absolutely wonderful. Maybe you can't see it quite as nicely as I hoped you would with the sun shining through or the light shining through. And this is a superb knot, a very, very soft and gentle knot, but it still has some backbone to it. So that's a synthetic, so I don't really need to soak it. I'm just dipping it in the water and shaking it out. And just laying it to the side I will then post shave I'll be using the balancing toner the aloe balancing toner instead of my aloe first just simply for a change um, and then after shave wise because this scent goes really well with the Windsor is the gentleman's pride and I think I shall experiment 
and I'll add a little bit of menthol crystals to this. Okay, these are menthol crystals and because it's such a hot day already, I will putting, be, be putting there a few crumbs of this in because I'm not sure how strong this actually is. So I'll be doing that right now. Uh, let's see if I get a tiny slither of this because it smells super strong. So I just want you to see this is the amount I am putting in. I'm just going to break that up with the soap into there. And as usual, I'll be posting down below into the info box what things I have been using. So once this video is finished, the details will be following after that. So don't, if you want to know, don't switch it off straight away. So let's get to it. Right, let's start loading. The menthol has seemingly almost already dissolved. Right, let's just load this. Oh, actually that gives it a kick to the scent. It's unreal. It's beautiful. This Windsor that has actually added a special something. So I have not added any water to this. All it was is the brush water. I dipped it into the water, shook it out three times, laid it to the side so any other surplus can drip off. And that little bit of water, what was that, maybe one milliliter of water that was in the bowl to smush and bloom the soap. That was all that was in here. And look at this, look how easy the soap is to lather. Okay, it's not got a sheen yet and it's still in its pre-lather phase. The bubbles are still a bit too big. And as you can see, my hands are full already. Okay, the bubbles are getting smaller. And I'm now going to have to add some water. And as usual, I forgot to take out my... I've got some on my fingers. I'm just going to use that here. And it will dissipate a bit. That's all right. Ah, there we go. I've forgotten my syringe. And I don't use... Hang on a minute. I don't normally use this, but for you so that you know how much I'm putting in, I'm drawing up a teaspoon, which is five milliliters, and I'm adding two. Okay, carrying on. I've added my two. And if there's noise, that's my husband. He's been out. We're going to have a barbecue later today. He got some lighter and some charcoal. So that's what that noise is. And the dogs most probably will be barking in a minute as well. As you can see, this is ample. Let me just do the finger test. It needs more water. There's no stick there. It's a bit dry. So I'm putting the rest. So five mils has gone in there. That's one teaspoon. It needs more water to build up the protective layer. I could shave with this already, but there is no protective layer there yet. 
So do the finger test and you'll soon find out, you can feel it once it's creamy and adheres to the skin, you can feel what it's supposed to feel like. That's the best test. It's now got a sheen to it as well. Okay, let's test again. Yes, now it glides. It's still got, makes still forms peaks, but now you can feel the protective layer. So I think I'm going to go with that for the minute because I don't want to add more water to this. This is fine. Okay, here we go. The scent is absolutely wonderful. The lather is absolutely wonderful. And it feels really good with that menthol in it. This is enough for most probably six lathers. Right, here we go. I'm going to have to adjust the camera a tiny bit so that you can see. Okay, here we go. And next to me I have a basin with cold water and the flannel. You see I didn't even wet my face today. This vector covers a lot of lot of area. So I'm definitely going to get a pack of DR Harris. Windsor once the other one's finished but I couldn't wait to test the scent that is why I got the sample and it I personally prefer this to the Marlboro, but they're both equally classy, both equally lovely. They lather super easy, give you a super protective lather. So now here comes the cold water. Oh, this menthol does, does give that extra little kick. I'm loving it already. Okay. I don't really need humongous amounts Look. <laughs> I think most probably this first small little bit would have been sufficient no nah. <laughs> like cough medicine <laughs> I'm mentholated inwards as well now I think Jill would be proud of my lather today. Where did I put my razor? Here we go. This is such a piece of art, this. See that, that wound from the bramble still hasn't healed completely. I think I actually got something in it, like a bit of the spike. Kept flaring up and what's and two days ago I 
I picked and picked and picked and now it's sort of healing it's not a sore now but it is slowly healing Oh, lovely. Does this make it different? Oh, yes, it is a lovely cooling feeling. Thank you for the suggestion. And thank you for the menthol. If you want to, just give your soaps that little bit of a kick without buying a mentholated soap then get yourself the menthol crystals great idea so i think that's me done <laughs> couldn't be any smoother so of course i forgot my towel back there as well no no here we go so i'm sorry it's not going to be a three pass it's only going to be a two pass <laughs> but well worth it so as you can see I've got at least for another four passes in here <sighs> I keep underestimating how much this lathers right let's get the toner on This is my balancing toner, pH balancing. It was also an astringent and an antiseptic at the same time. Has no alcohol, alcohol in it, has lots of aloe in it. <laughs> in fact, that's the main ingredient. No weepers, doesn't sting, just feels super balances out the pH of the skin in fact I'll just put it up there as well there you go so just a small tip to recap a little bit I would most probably if you want a slicker soap as in more glide if you for instance using a shavette or a kamasori or something of the sort then I'd add another teaspoon of water to this. But for me, this was fine today. Um, so I only put one teaspoon in plus that little bit that sort of smooshed the soap down, which I guesstimated to be a milliliter. And here we go. Let me just shake up my aftershave, gentleman's pride. Now I've got to take my glasses off. Imagine I didn't get soap all around my glasses today like I normally do. That menthol is fabulous. I should have thought of that the other day because I had it in my drawer, I'd just forgotten about it. Now with the windows closed and it being so hot so thumbs up if you liked it please give me an appreciation mark thumbs up subscribe for the next one and ding the bell to see it immediately as when it comes out when it's published see you soon bye bye